In this video, I'll be sharing my worst money mistake and hopefully you learn something from it and wag niyo gagayahin. What I want to achieve in this video is for us to be proactive about having conversations with regards to personal finance and hopefully by sharing yung story ko, it would spark interest sa inyo to seek more knowledge regarding personal finance. Alright, let's begin this video. The first story that I would like to share to you is about lending or pagpapautang. In this topic, I have two personal stories that I would like to share. Una muna is yung uh, nagpautang ako sa old friend ko, old teacher ko na sobrang ka-close ko. So to give you backstory dun sa nangyayari sa kanya, ba't siya ng utang? What happened is, uh, nagpakasal siya, bumili siya ng bahay, and nagka-baby siya all in the same year. And just happens na yung financial responsibility nun, hindi niya kinaya. So he end up uh, borrowing money to different peoples including ako. To further that story, what happened is uh, nawala sa kanya yung bahay niya kasi dahil dun sa mortgage niya na hindi niya mabayaran sa bank. And meron akong two lessons from that story. Una muna is family planning. Uh, wag mong pagsabay-sabayin yung mga expenses mo. So yun yung parang una niyang mistake dun. And for my part, pag nagpa-utang ka, almost expect it na at thank you or it's almost equivalent to bigay na kasi kaya nga nangutang yung tao sa iyo is kasi nga kulang yung pera niya so how do you expect uh, that person to pay your money my second story about lending or pagpapautang was when i was dating back in 2017 so may dinidate ako before and ang ginawa niya kasi uh, binenta niya yung luma niyang phone para pandagdag para sa bago niyang bibili na phone and what happened is, nung nabenta niya na yung phone, na luma niya, and nabili niya na yung bagong phone, so ginamit niya na yung pera na pinangbenta niya to buy that new phone. And nangyari, nagreklamo yung buyer nung luma niyang phone, and she got posted over the internet, sa Facebook, ganun, about sa groups. And para ma-fix yun, obviously, yung uh, buyer demands na para put down niya yung post is for just sa dinidate ko to give her back yung money and ibabalik niya yung phone na binili niya. Since nga pinangbili niya na ng bagong phone yung, yung uh, money na uh, nabenta niya, wala na siyang pera, wala na siyang liquid cash. Iliquid na siya. So, alam mo yun. So, syempre, diba, parang I trusted her and I mean, nagdidate pa kami nun eh. So, yun, uh, I parang sinalo ko muna siya. I lend her the money and yun, kinausap namin yung buyer to put down the post and binigay na namin yung money pabalik. So, what happened, siguro, after a month nun, uh, things don't work out between sa aming dalawa. What? What the fuck? And, syempre, ang hirap naman maningil, diba? Pagka, parang hindi pa kayo okay. So, pinalipas ko muna yung ilang buwan, then, shit happens. Bigla siyang nabuntis. Like, what the fuck? So, nung nangyari yun, parang, okay, uh, Possible ko nang masingil to. Ah, uh, I'll just work. Ah, uh, I'll just work myself. Parang mas madali pa yon na pagtrabuhan ko na lang yun na wala akong pera imbes na maningil to someone who I mean, suddenly got pregnant. The second topic that I would like to share is overspending on material things. So, back in college, ah, uh, I have yung allowance ko for my family and meron akong side hustle which is yung selling t-shirts. So, yung money ko na nakukuha ko from selling t-shirt is all excess money for me. At that time, I was really into sneakers. So, bili lang ako ng bili ng sapatos. And at some point, na-realize ko, uh, I was not really into it. Hindi naman ako passionate about doon. Walang intrinsic value ako nakukuha from having good shoes or many shoes. So, ayun, doon ko na-realize na sayang yung pera ko. Uh, I was just being materialistic and parang just wanted to be cool or parang be accepted. So, nung na-realize ko yun, uh, just parang sell yung mga sneakers na extra to turn it into cash. Another thing about it sa materialism is if you look at yung closet mo, if tingin mo yun, half of your clothes, hindi mo nagagamit. And pagka iniisip mo kasi na paulit-ulit yung damit mo sinusuot, hindi naman iisipin ng ibang tao na ay, walang pambilihan ng damit or uh, yun lang yung damit niya. What actually yung mga kaibigan mo, the people that you're with, ang isipin lang nila is uh, yung shirt na ginagamit mo lagi is your favorite shirt. And I don't see it as like negative or positive. So, alam mo yun, parang you don't need too much clothes. One suggestion that I could give for people who are materialistic or for someone lang na who wants to learn more about materialism or dun sa parang 
uh, how we consume things I suggest watch yung documentary film na sa Netflix it is called Minimalism When you recognize that this life is yours and that it is your one and only and when that seeps directly in your bones and you recognize that this is it everything changes Uh, it's a movie na totally influenced yung way ko on how I consume things. So, check it out. So, yung third money mistake ko na gusto kong i-share is about joining a quick reach money scheme back in 2014. To parang, cut the long story short, I lost a lot of money. And you know what's worse than losing your own money is to lose yung money ng friends mo na nagtitiwala sa'yo. And sa akin, it's a big deal. Parang, it's... It hurts my ego, my dignity, yung uh, self-esteem ko, yung confidence ko. Uh, it really parang destroys me at that time. So, umabot sa point na I was really anxious. Uh, hindi ako makapag-perform on a normal level. And pagka gabi na, I'm trying to sleep, I can't. Because it's always bothering me na... Kakaya, kakaya talaga yung moment na yun. The only way uh, to save your relationship with your friends sa ganong sitwasyon is to admit that you're wrong, apologize to them, and try to make the money back. Which again, it's easy to be said than done. Yung mali ko is I was really greedy and parang uh, gusto kong skip yung process and parang gusto kong patunayan na even though I'm just young, I could be rich or successful, which is mali. Hindi ko sinasabing porket bata ka, you can't be successful, you can't be rich. Pero there's a process na kailangan mo talagang pagdaanan uh, to be successful, to be rich. And it's not like an easy way, it's not a fast way. And up to now, I'm still working on it. Pero ngayon, I think I'm in a much better position and nandun na ako sa mas tamang daan. That experience really humbles me and it taught me a lot especially dun sa mga friends ko that I'm really thankful for kasi even though uh, I, I made a big mistake uh, and yun we're still friends up to now and yung relationship namin is way better and yun I'm just really sorry and thankful for, for them alright those are the worst money mistakes that I've done throughout the 25 years of my existence hope you learned something from this and i-apply nyo yun yung mga natutunan nyo in your daily lives and wag yung gagaya yung mga mistakes ko and hope you have a great day peace bye ah uh, if papansin mo yung reason why this is the frame that I'm using ito lang pinapakita ko is because I don't have any electric fan I don't have any aircon na buhay para lang to preserve the good sound and if I show you yung upper body ko I'm all sweaty <laughs>